I come from a family that is reserved, to say the least. And by virtue of that, we aren't the best storytellers. I knew maybe one or two things that happened in somebody's day, if that. And the stories that we did tell came from our days, or our weeks, or kind of recent memory. And that was great in some regards. That meant that I kind of perceived life in the sense of what was happening in the moment which allowed me to kind of slow down and enjoy things and enjoy the days as they came to me. But it didn't give me a real sense of identity or who we were as a family. Maybe at Christmas or Thanksgiving, I would meet family members that would tell me more about our family history. But beyond that, I didn't really know. We didn't have a story. And that didn't strike me as odd until I met my wife and got introduced to her family, and I realized that they love telling stories. They define who they are and what they are like as a family by repeating these stories over and over again that are years old, that people have heard 10, 20, maybe a hundred times, and that they still laugh and love to hear them. And I wish that I could say that a lot of that has rubbed off on me, that all of a sudden now I am this magnificent storyteller. But unfortunately, that's not the case. I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm trying to learn how to tell stories to you, to others. And I thought I'd pursue this storytelling through painting, through painting people that I love, by capturing and distilling them down into single moments, single portraits that kind of capture who they are at their core. It has become so incredibly important to me to learn how to storytell, because stories are the way we kind of shape and define who we are. We believe things and derive meaning about who we are and who we are in the midst of the world by virtue of storytelling. We come to our beliefs through stories, and we kind of reinforce those beliefs by telling the story of how we came to that. Storytelling is at the heartbeat of our culture, and it ultimately kind of defines what it means to be human in some ways. To be human is to have kind of this larger understanding of your story and your place within the stories around you. So it's become incredibly important to me to begin telling the story of my family. And because telling these narratives is not necessarily my natural inclination, I figured I'd cultivate that through painting, painting portraits of people that I love. And I'm starting my first painting with, well, my mother. This is my mother, Holly Hartzog Watts. I'm dreamy born Holly Norma Hartzog. She is a loving and kind and sincere person. And I think that you can kind of maybe grasp a little bit of that just by looking at her portrait it became really important to me to kind of begin to share who she is through this specific single moment, this kind of distillation of who she is into one image. Because that's what portrait painting is at its essence. It's taking everything you know about somebody and finding the right moment to kind of show them off in their best light, in a light that captures the nuances of who they are. This moment worked out perfectly because my mother is my biggest and best supporter. When I took her photo, she had tears in her eyes, and just because I asked her if I could paint her. And it meant a lot to me to be able to kind of offer that to her, because a painting is also kind of an offering up of how you see the world. So when I make a painting, I'm in some sense letting the world see through my eyes a little bit. But even though this is kind of a simple, straightforward portrait, I wanted there to be so much nuance here. You see the lighting is really soft and captures a really delicate expression. Growing up, my mother was this really reserved person and still is in so many ways. But she's also incredibly strong and thoughtful and caring. And so I wanted to kind of have those two things in the same space together. She's offering us something subtle, not outlandish and outstanding, but something kind of delicately there. 
both in her eyes and in her smile. She has these kind of round cheeks because she smiles so much, and we really see and glimpse those, but the smile itself is understated. So by kind of pulling us into those little moments, we get to see her personality kind of peek through. When you begin to really slow down and observe somebody, which is honestly the heart of what painting is, you you start to see things that go unnoticed, little glimpses that you wouldn't see otherwise. Like my mother's cheeks are really just kind of, they just kind of pop. They're just red and round and full in ways that I just, I can't describe, but I know are there and I really just kind of wanted to pull out. And yet at the same time, kind of the colors in her neck drop down to a, a warmer, kind of yellowy orange. Much different than all the pops of pink we're getting in her face. And she's a, a hard-working woman. She tends to all of the yard work at her wedding venue. And you wouldn't notice it, but there's just a quiet strength there. So to emphasize that strength, I kind of gave her, gave her these kind eyes that are both gentle but also knowing because having that depth to them really implies that there's a depth to personality. And it might be maybe simple enough to provide a lot of sharp, high contrast lighting here, which is, is honestly what I've done, but I've also wanted that lighting to feel like, even though it's a single source of light, th that light is delicate and doesn't create the sharpest shadow in the background. Actually, the background is soft and complements the face. As it, put, as it breaks and pushes forward. Even her shirt is kind of this soft white. It could have been brighter, but it's done in such a way that it doesn't detract or draw our eye away from the face. It actually serves to distinguish and separate her from the background. Because when you engage in a painting like this, you're engaging in storytelling in some sense. I even included all these kind of darker areas, darker tones on the far side of the face because, well, if I didn't, then this portrait would be flat. And my mother, well, she isn't kind of a one-dimensional person. She has many facets to her personality and how she views the world. And so by having both light and dark kind of melding and kind of muddling together there, we get a glimpse of all that's going on in this person, their story, their background, everything kind of coming together. The painting process wasn't necessarily easy, it was actually incredibly challenging. The right eye, visually speaking, over on this side, was just, I don't know, there was something off about it, so I had to repaint it a few times, something that I don't show in the video, but something that really kind of was something I had to wrestle with. But the result of this wrestling is something I think is incredibly beautiful and maybe shows her off in a special kind of warm light. And throughout the painting process, I couldn't help but notice that my mother and I kind of furrow our brows in the same way. And we hold smiles that are a little bit more kind of to ourselves. And we don't mind just kind of sitting back and relaxing into something and letting other people speak. I started to see all of the ways that my mother and I were connected throughout the process. Painting as a way of doing that because the process is so slow and meditative, it pulls you in and makes you see the thing that you're painting honestly and gives you time to sit with it and make all the connections you can between you and the thing, the person you're painting. So painting my mother brought back all these sweet, wonderful memories of going to the beach or her making dinner for us each night. And somehow along the way, I grabbed bits and pieces of her personality and made them my own. So I would encourage you to start seeing your life as a story, not a random collection of events that have happened to you in the last week or month or so, but as a large story that's culminating into something beautiful and special. And if you're like me, you have incredibly heartbreaking moments right next to beautiful moments of redemption in there. I can say honestly that I believe that redemption is kind of there waiting around the corner. And it might not come soon, because sometimes in stories it's years before anything beautiful happens. But I think it's there in the end. 
So take time to slow down and observe the story of your own life and the people that you have in it. I think it's one of the most profound things that we can do as artists or as people who love and appreciate art. And if you want to join a community of other people who love and create art, then feel free to hop along and join in my Discord because I want to create a community for artists and art lovers to kind of join together and have a place to speak and bounce ideas back and forth and kind of offer their art up for critique and help others along the way in their process too. So please follow along there and if you want any more art tips or any more deep insights into my painting process and what that looks like, you can also follow me on Patreon where I kind of offer up weekly painting videos and tutorials. I look forward to seeing you there. Bye.